hi everyone in this tutorial we will modify this code uh, in order to let the user to select one or two files so here is my update and here I am dealing with total number of charts so first of all before I actually perform this operation I will check the length of this files underscore lag variable so here I will say that if file says files underscore lag double equals to one this means that if user has selected only one file then i will say fig comma axis is equals to plt dot sub plot subplot and i need to draw only one subplot so my row will be one and my column will be one as well and uh, i think uh, about everything uh, i will create uh, this flatten axis empty list okay so just copy this name and just say just paste it is equals to list and this will be an empty list but uh, just write here l okay and now here i will say that fl a double t and flatten axis dot a double p and the append and i need to append a x i s axis okay so this will be only one axis and i just need to append that one axis inside this flat axis list and else if my if user selects two files so l if fil is filed underscore l e g double equals to two uh, this means that uh, we will have uh, two rows and a single column so just copy it paste it right here and just uh, make it two okay so two rows and uh, a single column and here i will say f l a double t and flatten x is, is equals to not append nothing else is equals to and i will do this process okay so just copy these this line copy it and uh, paste it right here and else if uh, it is if user has selected uh, more than two then I will perform the rest operation okay so just uh, just 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 put it right here okay and I hope this will solve our problem so let's run this application and uh, now let's select only a single file open it click on it this is my single file just select it and that and GPU CPU update it okay so we got an error and here again it's not a subplot it is subplots okay so subplots and then subplots right here let's run it again just select a single file open it click on this button select it that and gpu and cpu update it and yeah everything is fine now we are getting only a single graph okay and let's close this application and let's run it again and then in this case we will select two files okay so let's select this one and then this one open it click on this button select these two files that gpu and cpu update it and yeah now we are getting only two files so i hope you have understood how this logic will work so we will check for one and then two and then the process will remain same for rest of the files okay and the final thing which i will do uh, here is to add functionality to this save button okay so whenever user clicks on this save button uh, we will open a directory chooser menu and user need to select the direct where user want to save this graph okay so for this purpose uh, where is my save button okay so here i have this save button i will say r w t root oops not root on underscore p r e double s on press and then r w t root dot s a v i n g saving okay and uh, just uh, copy this name and uh, beneath everything beneath everything i will say d e f def saving and uh, then uh, first of all i just need to open the file chooser directory so again i will use this file chooser function of this player module so here i will say file file chooser dot ch choose underscore dir directory and then uh, we just need to pass title here so title title is equals to and uh, my title will be uh, p l e s is please s e l e c t select look at l o c a t i o n please select a location and i will save my location inside this dir variable and again uh, this choose underscore dir will, rep uh, will return us a list so we need to access only the first member or first item of that list which will be the uh, location so i will say plt dot sav save fig and then i just need to pass the location where i want to save so 
uh, my location will be dir0 and now uh, i also need to define the file name so i will go with a predefined file name that will be figure.png. but this will not work because because we need to actually merge this thing and this thing together so here i just need to put these two backslashes and uh, now let's run this application and see the output okay so let's select uh, maybe only one file okay select it click on this select this one that gpu cpu everything okay so i will visualize each and everything and click on the update okay so these are all my lines and now let's click on the save button uh, this is my file chooser menu and here I just need to choose a location So I will save my figure inside this hello folder and click ok and my file has been saved and now let's go to our hello hello folder and Yeah, here I have my figure. Okay, so as you can see this is our figure and it's looking awesome So this is how you can actually make this data visualizer app uh, But but let me tell you that uh, there are some bugs in this application and uh, This is your homework to find out those bugs just play with these values and everything else and find those bugs and you need to fix those bugs by your own self for example let me close this application and uh, let me open this data visualizer app again just click on this and uh, if user selects uh, these files multiple times so if i select these files one open them and if i again click on this button if i again select them and then i click if i click on this button as you can see we have one two three four five six files so this is a bug and whenever users click on this button we are getting error so this is one bug which i have mentioned you and this is now your homework to find out the causes of this bug and how to fix it and i hope now you have an adequate amount of information regarding bugs fixing in kiwi and i will see you in the next tutorial till that point bye bye